Hello everyone, this is Ariel uh, in the Game Prim channel. Uh, today I'll be continuing the walkthrough for Hogwarts Legacy. Um, hopefully you guys like it. So I'm currently in the common room and I can clearly see the detail that the developers put into the game. Uh, you could definitely see a lot of similarities from the movies. It's pretty cool. And uh now, let's see. Which way is the common room? Let's go to the common room. <laughs> so the pictures are actually moving. That's pretty cool. Very similar to the actual movie. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Nice. Oh, this is pretty cool. Let me see what I can interact with. Oh, so I can get some coffee. The tea. Yeah, that, that looks like tea. So it seems that I can interact with a couple of stuff. And again, I have to talk to a couple of people here. It's pretty nice. Oh, you can move the sphere. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yeah. Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. Either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Have a sip. Go on. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Oh, Weasley. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. <clears throat> Seems to be related to here. the Can't Weasleys uh, of the Harry Potter right. movie. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figg's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again. Very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. That makes You'd sense. think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Very cool. Let's see who we can talk about first. Oh, actually, we have oh, another another person now. Time? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that <laughs> That's you're funny. Professor Figg's protege? Yes. 
I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't oh, worry. Sheep. We'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. New Gryffindor. <laughs> Professor Weasley's waiting no for you outside the common room. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Very nice. That's a really cool animation there. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? I mean, the facial animations need some Without work, but other than that, the game is we'll so good. Any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I'm gonna switch my attire. Well, I can I can definitely look into my bedroom later. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it and we'll see. Revelio. Oh, so the field guide is sort of like a progression stage. You guys challenges, collection, talent, inventory. Cool. All right. So it seems that like you will learn something new from each painting. Clever. Revelio. Keep your eyes open for more. Not all of them. Oh, can I pet this guy? Oh, I can pet him. Oh. 
great. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Sounds good. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. So you, you got like fast, fast travel points. That's pretty cool. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Great. You can get Indeed. almost anywhere this in the looks castle pretty good. quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our king's Oof, That's amazing. Look at the mural, how it moves. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, great. So that means I can keep moving in the story. Start to... It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Uh... <laughs> she caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, 
I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Let's go this one first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will really? be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, awesome. Sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. It's pretty cool. Okay. Nice. Oh. That means that I, I'm already in, I'm free, free roaming. Can I open this? Oh, cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's a big smoke or smug. Another cat. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah. Cool. That is pretty funny. That is so funny. Oh, there is something here to collect. Ilibius. Pretty cool. Something about the lining that... There's just something about the the lighting that reminds me of Assassin's Creed Unity. Look at me. Whew. That looks like a weird animal. I love moving the spheres. I I am impressed by the sheer size of this game. It's pretty impressive and detailed. The lighting makes it really look like a castle with the marble walls and all the little details from uh, the movies. Revelio. There's some music here. Oh no, this the instruments are playing alone <laughs> that's pretty cool so many little details in this game
You can almost get yourself lost in the game. to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! <laughs> a That's surprised funny. opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Nice, I learned it. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Levioso. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. That's funny. This should be easy. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Something lucky about this. Form. I know. Oh, he's still charging. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. You're good. How perceptive. Protego. Protego. Complications. There you go. I got you, man. Nice. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. 
Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallo, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Well, Until next time. that was cool. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you like this uh, walkthrough and uh, we'll keep going in another video. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw. Thank you.